Some words that are coming uh, to my mind are around the word consistency, but it sounds like I'm going to add something here to the word consistency, and that would be intentional consistency. So where you're setting an intention, yes. you're putting in a structure, and then you're being very intentional with your operating rhythm and that you're going to stick to. And the opposite of that would be disorganized inconsistency. And that, that's where we end up with Bozo. This is where we end up with leaders that are a bit erratic and a bit all over the place. So, so tell me more. How is my reflection here about intentional consistency, structured, there's a place and a time for what's needed in the business. How does that sit with you? That is, that is, uh, you, you hit the nail and you hit, you, you hit the nail on the head perfectly. I, I think that what happens is that um, you can't predict what a business is going to go through. What you can do is choose how you're going to react. Mm. So if you can, if you can uh, create the environment that gives you the best potential for the best reactions and you can be even more proactive so that some of those reactions are more proactive versus a, a true reaction then you're, you're better off but a long time ago i was struggling with something and my 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 little daughter jokingly looked at me and said daddy you got this right i mean you know think plan do <laughs> think about it first and she was right in the sense that i was stressed about something and I wasn't thinking about it anymore. I was really like stressing over the doing side of it. It seemed like a lot of things to do. Uh, but if I just stood back and thought about it, so back into the think rhythm, I would realize, which I did thanks to the prompting of my daughter, that actually half the stuff I was about to do, I actually didn't have to do. I know you asked me to do it, but that doesn't mean I got to do it. So, so sometimes our do bucket gets so full because We've said yes to 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 all all the requests that are around us. So it takes a bit of discipline versus just waking up tomorrow. I got a new idea come across my desk. Yes, we're gonna do it. No, can I don't want you to do that. I want you to say, but it's week five in a thirteen week quarter, and I've got a new idea. Okay, well it's week five, guys. If I if I implement this new idea right now, I will distract the whole team from the handful of priorities that we've already agreed to. As a leader. I should not do that. If I change their priorities, they will feel unsuccessful. They will feel like their efforts went to waste. So I should let them finish. Now, if it's a priority that I chose poorly, then I should suck it up and tell them, I'm sorry, I've got to change it. I chose poorly. But otherwise, let them finish their work because in the next a, a quarter is 13 weeks. And so in five or six weeks, we're going to plan the next quarter. I mean, your idea probably won't die just because we waited five weeks. So mm. we put it in the parking lot and the next planning cycle, we will now look at that and make a decision. Should we prioritize that work? Yes or no. So surprisingly, a lot of chaos is created by senior leaders who cannot have, who don't have the self-control to say, let's wait three weeks to process this idea. I want to process it now. Mm now creates chaos we create urgency sometimes when we don't need to have urgency so and by the way congratulations with your daughters they're clearly listening to you if they if they can give you that guidance because now i'm now i'm thinking it all those people that are listening to this show right now that have got a to-do list in front of you what's on, first of all what's on your to don't list is my first question but yes. secondly have a think about what what patrick is talking about the question is and we're going to get into the the do rhythm in a minute are you just doing like say you're getting to work every day and you're looking at it you're creating a to-do list and you just spend your whole time doing or are you in your cycles giving yourself a rhythm rhythm where you can think where you can plan and then you can do instead of just doing and doing and doing and chasing your tail the whole time the other thing that jumped into my mind when you were talking about the 13 week cycles and the saying yes no or later is the word discipline and you use the word execution very early in our discussion discussion patrick and now i'm going to add the word 
disciplined execution. It's to have that discipline that when that shiny object comes mid-cycle, that you look at it, you admire it, but you go, yeah, later. Not not instant, yeah. yes, but it was, yeah, later. Unless it is one of those fires that you're talking about where you do have to respond instantly, there will always be exceptions. But shiny object comes and you go, that is a good idea, later. Mm-hmm.